just edit the script actually do some very small string operation to this and I'll add as date time dot now and I'll run this package so here you can see the date time that is suffixed with each of the results okay so so far we have been dealing with a single output stream so let us just explore one more small uh, thing that is provided by SSIS let's create one more output stream create and an output and call this as unprocessed output or unprocessed rows and I'll add a column to this and say I'll call this as department name itself and I need to edit the script so what I'll do is I'll just add a else statement over here so it says else similarly I need to create a row called as unprocessed buffer dot add row and I'll say unprocessed rows buffer dot department name equal to row dot name and just for the sake of consistency with the previous one I'll add a date time to this date time dot now right uh, looks like again I messed up with the data type let me just close this right so yeah now I think it's pretty much perfect close this and I need to add one more data reader destination I'll connect this so now you could see the two output stream these are the ones that we created one is called as the processed rows and other is called as the unprocessed rows let me add a data viewer to this so our package is pretty much ready let me just run this package so the data viewers will pop up right now so I can see two of them so your first one thing starting from finance to executive are the ones that has a department ID greater than 10 so it comes in unprocessed rows whereas the one with processed rows have the department names that are that have a department ID less than 10 so you could have a small summary over here total rows buffers one and so on and so forth so there are a pretty much other many things that you could actually do with this write custom scripts to say um, look at a particular database or um, do some manipulation with your data and then push it to the output stream or push it to a database after this and so on and so forth so uh, the scripting task basically gives you full flexibility to write your own code and um, customize your output accordingly but it's a good practice to first look at the documentation and um, look at things that are actually provided by SSIS rather than reinventing the wheel